came back in November as this puck will be collected up here by the Warriors. Schottmeyer ahead through center. Four was rejected away in the neutral zone and then Jake Bernadette got it ahead but Cranbrook quickly reverses and transitions the other way. Here's Peluso right wing side turning back inside the blue line across left wing. Morrissey to the net. He scores! Bauer Morrissey from the left point puts a shot through traffic and beats Hamming on the blocker's side. And with 8.20 to go in the first period, Morrissey's got the marker, his sixth of the year, and makes it a 1-0 Cranbrook lead. Draw one here by Cranbrook as they get ahead through center. Bumped along left wing side, now moving to the front of the net, tipped on, and they score! Right in front, it's Noah Quinn going to the goal who puts it home on a Cranbrook rush down ice. Quinn's able to bank it in on a centering pass and a 2 to nothing Cranbrook lead with 7.57 to go here in the opening period. And the power play upcoming here for West Kelowna. Now it's Ben McDonald down the left wing side. Moving in left circle shot block. Gets it back and scores! Ben McDonald, a power play goal. Nine seconds into the man advantage. Got the shot back again. And found the back of the net on the glove side of Nathan Airy. And McDonald gets the goal and the Warriors lead, and the Warriors cut the deficit to one and make it a two to one game. Warriors get it to the blue line and Morrissey holds it on. Works in left circle. Dropped it off. Here's Smith with a shot up and over the goal. Rides the dashboard and comes back to center. And in desperate time as the Warriors needed a penalty killing change. Brought along by Morrissey quickly. He carries in. Works down the right side. To the net. He scores. What a goal by Bauer Morrissey. His second of the game to just undress the Warrior defense on the right side. And beats Hamming through the legs. A power play goal for Cranbrook and it's 3-1. Bentham will take it over again. Fed along right wing there with that. Peluso sends it along left side. Noah Quinn back in front. They score. Quinn in front, and it's tipped in by Cam Kungle. Power play goal for Cranbrook, and the Bucks lead 5-1. to one. Trying to get away from the discarded stick of Frias down below the goal line. Everybody comes together for it. Comes up the left wing side. Battling for it there is Porchetta. Comes back to center on the right wing side. Here's Yarderson in alone. Kellen Yarderson back in front and scores. What a setup by Yarderson to find Blake Cotton in front, who buries it past Angelo Zoles. The power play expires, and Cranbrook leads 6 to 1. Chris Duclair and just couldn't complete that play as it's popped up inside of the Warriors zone. Skating onto it now is Blake Cotton in the corner. Cotton up the left wing side. Took a hit there, but he got it back in front and a backdoor play, and Cranbrook makes it 7 to 1. Noah Quinn on a centering pass, and he spots his man in front, and Kellen Yarderson to make it 7-1 with 3.19 to go in the third. Yarderson's got his 10th of the year. A gorgeous feed from Noah Quinn from the right wing side. 